I'm going to be taking my lashes and my lash glue. You could use different types of lash glue, but I prefer the dual one. Now you prepare your scissors, curler, lash applicator, and for step one, take the silk lashes out of the box, make sure to place it on top of your lid and measure it, trim the excess part and on each side of your lashes or one side and then now simply apply your lash glue onto your lashes and place the lashes at the middle part of your lid make sure to stick the middle part first and then use the lash applicator to gently put the corners of the lashes onto your lid like so now once it's placed perfectly gently check if any part of the lashes are not yet sticked and then gently press the lashes towards your lid you can use your fingers or the lash applicator to do this now i'm just simply pressing the lashes to my natural lashes and making sure it doesn't lift now to hide the strip lashes or to make sure the lashes looks natural just use an eyeliner and water your waterline and that's it Silk lashes are designed to have a uniform, perfect curve to them and since they already hold such dark pigment, there is no reason for mascara. If you are looking for the mascara look with thick, long eyelashes, silk lashes are the way to go. But ladies, if you are looking for a more natural lash line, usually prefer mink over silk lashes as mink lashes are also very light and soft and it looks way more fuller than silk lashes. As far as my favorite, I think mink lashes are my absolute favorite during a night out look but silk lashes is my preferably choice during a daytime more casual look so that's it for my today's video if you guys enjoy watching it be sure to subscribe and don't forget to leave your comments down below and also check the description box for more info about the one lash mink and silk lashes thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time bye